The detractors called him Dr. Death, a qualified physician who helped end lives using a homemade contraption which he called the Mercytron. Then the patient reaches over and just touches that switch once, maybe twice, I'll have him do it twice to make sure. He set up the drugs, the patient activated the lethal injection, and those who saw him were videotaped to make clear they were acting of their own free will. You realize, of course, the implications of your decision. Yeah, I do. What is the implication of your decision? There's no turning back. Yeah, I want to die. I will continue to assist humans to alleviate their agony and interminable suffering. Yes, and if that means they have to kill themselves to do it, yes. The medical establishment was aghast, and as Kevorkian assisted dozens of suicides, prosecutors tried in vain to have him convicted of murder. We're going to inject in your right arm. But in 1998, Jack Kevorkian uh, handed them the decisive evidence, a nationally televised video in which he himself administered a lethal injection. What do you say to your patients, Jack? I'm, I'm talking for my patients. What do you say to them now as you go to jail? Well, what will you say? When they want the patients to continue suffering, you call this a civilized society? He would serve eight There's years no for second-degree murder. No Hi, Caroline. Released in 2007, Kevorkian would run for Congress, provoking and influencing the euthanasia debate. Today, doctor-assisted suicide is legal in three U.S. states. To some, he was a pioneer of compassion. To others, a morbid self-publicist. After an illness, Jack Kevorkian died overnight in hospital of natural causes. Steve Kingston, BBC News, Washington.